In this example, we are given x, y, and 60 are in arithmetic progression and 4x and y are in geometric progression. What is the value of x plus y? So we know about arithmetic progressions and we know about geometric progressions. When you combine those two ideas, which is a very typical um, IB style of question, we can see that 60 minus y, let's set up what we know, 60 minus y is equal to y minus x. Because they're arithmetic, the common difference is the same. We also know that because these are geometric, y divided by x is the same as 4 divided by, or sorry, is the same as x divided by 4. And in higher level, you often end up with this situation where you have non-linear simultaneous equations. So adding y to both sides, we have 2y minus x. And here, let's let y equal x squared multiplying by x on both sides over 4. All right. As this is the case, we can now take this value of y and substitute in here. So let's have a look. 60 equals 2 and substitute in what we know for y x squared over 4 and then subtract x. Taking this, multiply everything by 2 to get rid of the denominator, cleans up the quadratic that results and let's get 120 equals x squared minus 2x, which you can see is a quadratic, x squared minus 2x minus 120. It's very nicely factors, x minus 12 and x plus 10, giving x equal to 12 or x equal to negative 10, two possible solutions. Once you have those, we can then easily find y. So y equals 12 squared over 4, which is 36. Or let's call that y2, and let's call this x1 and x2. For the other value, I'm sorry, that was 1, yeah, y1. All right, so for y2, we'll get negative 10 squared over 4, which is 25. Remember, the problem asked us for x plus y, so we're going to have two possible results here. So you could have x1 plus y1, which is 12 plus 36, resulting in 48 as one of our answers. The other answer, x2 plus y2, equals negative 10 plus 25, which is 15. So to summarize, when you're doing an arithmetic progression, the common difference is the same. When you're doing a geometric, the common ratio is the same. Set up two equations with two unknowns. It ends up being a system of nonlinear equations, which you can solve. And at the end, remember to add the resulting solutions x plus y and getting 48 and 15.